In this video, I will show you the best build for AK and X Defiant but be sure to finish the video. Without further ado let's start with the muzzle. The muzzle I am currently using is the muzzle booster. Muzzle booster adds 2.5% rate of fire for the AK. The disadvantages of it is, it lessens my vertical and horizontal recoil control for 10% each. I can improve it by adding other attachments that offers the vertical and horizontal recoil control. The next attachment is the barrel. The current barrel I am using is the rapid fire. Rapid fire is adding an extra 5% rate of fire. All in all, I have 7.5% rate of fire because I am adding the 2.5% of the muzzle booster. Meaning, I am 7.5% faster to eliminate a player in the game. The disadvantages of the rapid fire barrel is that, it lessens your vertical and horizontal recoil control for a whooping less 20% each. Adding the less 10% each because of the muzzle booster. Meaning, I am less 30% vertical and horizontal recoil control each. But of course it's an AK, known for notorious recoil, and it really depends on your aim skills on how you control the recoil of the AK. The next attachment is the front rail. I am currently using vertical grip. Why? Because in my own understanding, it adds more 10% vertical recoil control of the AK to lessen the recoil of going upward while I am shooting. I already eliminated the muzzle booster's less 10% vertical recoil control because the vertical grip offers 10% vertical recoil control. I am now less 20% vertical recoil control and less 30% horizontal recoil control. Also the disadvantage is the vertical grip is, it is less 5% of the ADS speed. So it means I am 5% slower to get up my gun to shoot. But that would not be a problem, because in the next attachment which is the rear grip. I am currently using quick draw in the rear grip. It adds 10% ADS speed, but I need to deduct the less 5% ADS speed of the vertical grip in it. So in my own understanding, my gun now is 5% more faster I get up my gun to shoot. Quick draw also lessens my ADS stability. But it's only useful when I am using a sniper guns to lessen the swaying of the scope. The next attachment is the stock. I am currently using precision stock because it adds 5% each in the vertical and horizon recoil control. Meaning, I am now less 15% in vertical recoil control and 25% less horizontal control currently. Also precision stock lessens my recoil recovery by 15%. Recoil recovery means, it is how long my reticle goes back to the center after I fire an AK. But that would not be a problem, because I don't spray my AK like an SMG. It also lessens my ADS speed too, by 10%. So I need to deduct the remaining 5% ADS speed that quick draw offers to me before. So I am now less 5% ADS speed, meaning, I am now 5% slower to get my gun to shoot currently. However, if you are not used to play without scopes, you can remove either the muzzle or the stock. I do not use scopes in AK because for me it kills the fun. I also do not use magazines because I do not spray much bullets. I do not reload in the open area. I only reload if there is a cover as much as possible. 